Hi guys, my name is Tenoj Huerta. I'm an actor. I'm in Gainsland, this fantastic gym in San Jerónimo, Mexico City. And this is part of my routine, just because I love it. No, because they pay me. That's the secret. For different roles, you need different routines. Uh, for example, narcos, I need just to look massive, not exactly fitness. But now for Black Panther, for this character, they need not exactly like a big guy, like a superhero kind, more like a swimmer. This guy is Geronimo, he is my trainer. A big part of his routine was basically a full body. So we're gonna introduce you to the first workout, which was uh, a back squat which is gonna help him a lot with the core stability, uh, work a lot with, uh, with the legs and the quads specifically, because with his role, he was using uh, tight shorts. Chain yeah. shorts. Exactly, so he needed to have uh, big quads, strong quads, and also the core stability and mobility. You like this workout? Well, no, I hate it, but it's perfect. <laughs> you pretty much hated the entire routine, but sorry, I'm not sorry. So, uh, <laughs> So the next exercise that we're gonna do is a Romanian deadlift. Now this is a very useful exercise for hamstring development. For Namor, we didn't need a lot of glute development. We wanted to focus more on quads and hamstrings. So this was our main hamstring exercise. And also it is very important that even though this is a full body, these two exercises were separate exercises because they're very taxing physically and also for, for the nervous system. So it is important that we remember that we wanted to do these exercises isolated. And this is gonna be also very useful for the core stability and also for power and strength. So the next exercise is gonna be a sled push and pull. This is gonna be very useful, especially for conditioning. During his preparation for Namor, he's using a lot of wires, he's doing a lot of physical activity during the sets, and also because he's an underwater character, he swam a lot. So it is very important, this exercise, to give him a little bit more conditioning. I was swimming for eight hours. Yeah, so, so. It, it was, it was very, very taxing. So uh, this exercise was very useful for power and conditioning, burning a lot of calories because he needed to lose uh, body fat and also to prepare him for his swimming lessons, uh, like the child you are. The next exercise that we're gonna do is a inclined bench press. Now, we prefer this exercise uh, over the normal bench press because he has uh, some injuries in his shoulders and this exercise gave him a little bit more stability and it was painless for him uh, and we used mostly dumbbells also because he was more comfortable with the dumbbells than with uh, the barbell. This is my favorite part of the, of the workout. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now the next exercise that we're gonna do is we just needed some uh, dumbbells and the floor. This is actually a more of a stability kind of workout and for core because he's gonna be sitting on the ground with his uh, knees pretty much uh, extended and doing a shoulder press. Also for strength and conditioning and a lot of stability for his shoulders. You feel good with your shoulders? Stability? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Great. <laughs> And uh, the final exercise that we're gonna do is a pike position leg extension. And we wanted to do also uh, a lot of stability for the shoulders, a lot of core uh, movement and strength, and a lot of uh, hip hinge. Also to develop the quads. Hey guys, this was my, my workout. Yeah, remember everybody has different way of life, everybody has different level of uh, fitness. Don't hurt yourself, be gentle with yourself, but keep going. See you next time.